G'day. I've done myself a mischief. I've cut my finger off killing chooks. So uh, this weekend, it's just going to be a bit of fishing while I wait for these stitches to uh, do their job. So I'm uh, here with uh, Nathan. Mate, how are you? <laughs> and Nathan's brought just a couple of lures. Run us through it, Nathan. <laughs> Look at the state of it. You got a whole bloody tub full. Plus, how many tackle boxes you got? Holy Three. shit. Look at this. You reckon this bloke's half prepared for anything or what? Yep. Holy. I think I've been caught more than the fish will be. So, so. Bit of a nice. mix pack of dead mans and frogs and minnows and gulps and whatever that is. <laughs> Who knows? It's an abortion, is what it is. But you never know. You never know. Here, watch me. Still won't catch a bloody fish this weekend. So, armed to the teeth with all kinds of lures, we headed down to the river. So we're both sporting different weapons. One's a handmade timber lure by Ronnie Gallo from Cairns. What do you got, Nathan? The staff pick from BCF, Daiwa, in the... Just a paddle tail minnow. Paddle tail minnow. In a pretty, uh, pretty... Fish attracting looking colour, hopefully. Delicious, delicious looking colour. Yum, yum, yellow. So it's the cool time of year up here, and the barra tend to get a bit quiet, especially uh, at the bookends of the day early morning and late evening. So we weren't all that confident, but hey, you don't catch fish if you don't cast the lure, eh? Right. Oh, got him. Yeah, nice one, first barra. Jeez, he's a monster, Nate. Oh yeah, man. Jeez, yeah, man. I think it's too big, eh? That's uh, oversized limit, yeah, have to put him I back. I say, this is a big advertisement for the young fella at BCF, though. He's yeah. Saying, this is the color that you want to have to fish up the lake field. Nice. That's, uh, the old buddy, soft plastic in yum yum yellow, doing the trick. It's only a rat, but uh, that's good. Nice. A lot of these in the system at the moment. Bit sandy. Bit sandy. Better get him back in before he suffers anymore. No oh, funny. Have a look how good this thing swims. <laughs> yeah, whoomph. <laughs> I saw it too. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. There's been a lot that size in this system this year. Yeah, right. Some. So last year's bloody breeding was a good one. So we stayed in that pool for a little while longer, thrashing the water to a foam with our lures, and headed downstream to the next pool, thrash that too, for no result in either of them. So we eventually gave up and went back to camp, had an early night, got back up the next morning, went and did it all over again. So the next day we tried a slightly different tactic. We waited until about 10 o'clock in the morning with the idea that the sun on the water would get the barra a little bit more keen to hit our lures. Nathan persisted with his soft plastics that had worked the day before and I changed up my idea and put on a surface lure, a Zerek skittish dog, a real loud splashy lure. And the idea I had was that I'd annoy the barra into biting, if nothing else. What's that? Everywhere you go, there's some kind of fucking stripey fish that wants to eat anything, eh? Yep. <laughs> it's one of those... There we go. One of those laws of nature. That's not so stripy. I finally annoyed one enough, and he decided he was going to climb all over it. It's not a bad fish. Probably a sort of 50-ish, I reckon. Maybe a shade smaller. Nice little buddy. Freshwater barra. Okay, there you go, little fella. Lovely looking little bloke. Lovely. Now the sun glinting off those scales. They are pretty fish, aren't they? Very nice. 
Oh, mate. Good one. <laughs> Very nice. Tarpon's right there. Big tarpon. Very good. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a stunning animal? So the water's a bit colder, and it was this surface lure, this loud, splashy, Xerox skittish dog that finally annoyed one of these fish enough to attack it. Uh, he's a very nice, nice condition little fish too. Anyway, very good. We'll carry on. So we continued fishing this pool and there was no shortage of fishable water and plenty of snags up against the deep bank on the opposite side. So I continued on with my splashy surface lure and my technique of trying to annoy the crap out of the barra to induce a bite. And it paid off. Hey little fella this time. But uh, yeah, nice little fish. It's good to see so many of these little blokes in this system, eh? Yeah, sort of suggests there's been some good recruitment from the last breeding. condition too which you'd sort of expect at this time of year I guess I really do love this lure yeah. <laughs> I've caught so many fish on it or on similar ones yeah they work all right definitely do not so much when they're stuck on the back of that tree over there but no as well as you could hope, I think. Off he goes, very good. So that fish of mine brought it up to two all on the scoreboard, as Nathan had been out earlier that morning and got himself a nice fish. So he started throwing everything he had, trying to get ahead. He had a couple of inquiries, but it was the hard body surface lure that won player of the day, counting for one more fish before full time. Huh. Look at that. I saw him come up and hit the lure. And then, um, I didn't feel anything. I was waiting for my lure to resurface, so I just reeled in a bit of line. <laughs> There's a barrel on it. Can't claim too much bloody skill on that one, I don't think. Another one of those nice little rat sized ones, eh? Oh, those little rat ones, like the ones you <laughs> we've been getting. Oh, hey, there we go, he's let go of it. Beautiful. Yeah, that was probably the most uh, sluggish barramundi hit I've ever experienced. <laughs> he just looked like he just didn't want to do it. Oh, that kid at school, he used to hang out with your gang. But was never keen on doing all the things you wanted to make him do. Remember kid, it's just not peer pressure, it's just your turn. We persisted a bit longer in this pool, but the barra started sulking, so he called it a day, headed back to camp where Chef Nathan cooked up a storm. It was a bloody good weekend and a magic spot with an old mate and a few nice little freshwater barra to top it off. So thanks for watching, chuck us a subscribe and I'll catch you next time.